happened to your finger? I smashed it between a car door and a pole. Awesome. Wow. Car door and a pole. How many days ago? This happened Saturday night. I bet it hurts. It hurts a lot. Yeah, Just... and it's it's been hurting now for three days. Yes. And we're going to have to x-ray that. Make sure you didn't crush the tuft, the distal aspect of the finger. But I can tell you we're going to need to remove that nail. It's okay. going to continue to hurt you until it comes out. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you a digital block, which means we're going to anesthetize the finger. Then send you for an x-ray while that anesthesia is working, then come back and we'll take that nail off for you. Okay, sounds good. Do you mind if we video you for YouTube? Of course not. Are you sure, Creek Positive. Mom? I think Creek Mom is a good nickname, don't you, Gonzo? Well, her mom wanted a different one. <laughs> well, we're not going to discuss that. All right. All I was right. going to say it too. All right, so we're going to use alcohol here. And we're going to numb this up for you. We've got little Gonzo on the cold spray. She's going to try to shoot from behind the camera. So she's doing double work. All right. Are we ready? Are you ready, Creek Mom? No. Gonzo, let's go right here first. Right there. Good. Little stick. Sting. Breathe. There we go. Breathe. Putting that medicine right in there. Let's get the other side now. Right there. Good. Little stick. You are doing fantastic. How many kids you have, Creek Mom? Two. You have two kids. All right, if you look closely here at this x-ray, you'll see that the very distal aspect of this finger has a fissure or a fracture. Uh, and it's a little bit easier to see in this next uh, picture that's coming up. But clearly there is a fracture of the tuft of this finger. All right, you ready for some news? Yes. You broke your finger. No way. Way. No way. Way. Oh my god. Absolutely. The tuft, the very distal most aspect of this finger, is fractured. Oh and it's a fissure fracture. So it's going to change our treatment. Oh wow. So now we're not going to take the nail off. And we're going to stitch the nail down to act as a splint. Oh gosh. And we're going to use dissolving stitches so when the stitches falls out, it'll be when the stitches fall out, it'll be okay for the nail to grow out. Okay. All right, because it'll take about three weeks for that to happen. If we have this successfully splinted for about three, three weeks, the the uh, the bone should heal. Awesome. Should be healed. All right. So my goal is to try to slip this nail back in. I don't know if we're going to be able to. Cause so much of it is out. It's still pretty sore. Yeah. Yeah. Durr. Okay. She jumped. Well, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> she removed that cap for me. Do I need the cold spray? No, because she's already got some anesthesia going here. All right, we're going to give you another I shot. Tried. Are you ready? No. No. No? <laughs> well, we're going to go don't jump. Little stick. Oh. You're allowed to say any words. <laughs> you can to Gonzo. No, to, to Doc. Good, good, good. You're doing great. I can read her head right now. <laughs> am I, I'm not blocking, am I? No. You okay, dear? Yes. Poor Creek Mom. Not the best day. Not at all. I don't think that we'll be able to put this actually back in. So we're going to leave it just exactly where it is because it, it's just perfectly aligned with the direction that the bone's growing. See, the reason we don't want to just snap the nail off mm -hmm. is because if the bone changes position, then your nail can grow crooked in the future. Oh. And we don't want that. We want the nail to continue to grow straight out. So the best thing for us to do is suture this in place and let the nail heal. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yeah. Oh, wow. You okay with that, Creek Mom? She didn't want her nail off anyways. Yeah. She liked that nail. So this is where it gets tricky, is putting a little needle through the finger. Me there you go. Get the Gon's hand there. Through the finger and then through the nail without okay. popping that nail off. You can still feel it a little bit. You should be able to feel it. It just shouldn't hurt. <laughs> She's not going to comment on that. Does it hurt? Did yeah. it hurt? It's just a little bit odd feeling. Cool. You, you feel go. good. <laughs> There's two ties. This is 5-0 Vicryl. 
which is a, um, a polysaccharide suture. It's self-dissolving, or it's dissolving, so it doesn't have to be manually removed. All right, scissors, please. I'm going to put a couple or three stitches in here for you. Pretty exciting stuff, huh? Can it hurt? Just scary looking at it. Mm-hmm. Not a pretty sight. Right, right through the nail. Now that's tacked down good right there. I like that. And we're still kind of attached on the other side, so I don't think we're going to have to stitch over there. So that's good, huh? Yes. Yeah. She'll take that in time. Poor Creek Mom. She's just having a rough time with the old crushed fingernail thing here. All right, you ready for the next one? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Squeeze, it's fun to worry about it. Right through the nail there. Excellent. Mm -hmm. That was a really good. I can just imagine there. the feeling. Feels kind of weird, doesn't it? Yes. I'm for sure you would have taken this instead of having your nail popped off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, nails, nail popping off isn't bad. Once you've got the anesthesia on board, it's not bad. Really? Does it grow back? Sure. Nails grow bad. People lose toenails and fingernails all the time. They grow back. Let's zoom in a little bit. I'm a little worried about the back aspect here, maybe coming loose. So we put it, let's put a stitch in the back too. It looks like red stitches. <laughs> looks like well, it is red now. Let's put a stitch through this portion back here. So I may have to get another one. Let's just see if this comes out. There we go. Is it going through the acrylic nail too? It's going through all of it. Oh wow. There's no sense in taking the acrylic nail off too because again it helps serve as a as a splint for this broken finger. Hmm. We still have to do the two gauze on it, don't we? We do want to put a nice dressing on this because it's going to continue to be tender for a little while. Okay. It's going to be sore. All right, so we've stitched in place. We're going to put a little dressing on this for you. And these little stitches will fall out on their own in a couple of weeks. Okay. And so this, we want this nail just to grow out. It'll naturally fall off when it's ready. And hopefully everything will go okay and the little tuft, the little uh, the bone portion at the tip of the nail will heal straight. Okay, so you want to take it real easy with this and let it do its job. Okay. Thanks for your help, Gonzo. Thanks um, for letting us record, Creek Mom. Thank you for fixing my nail. You're welcome. Hey folks, you spoke and we listened. Here's what you had to say about Meta7. I love it so much. It gives me so much energy during the day. I've noticed a change in my hair, my nails, my blood pressure. There's no doubt that it, it's, it's a benefit to me. It gives me more stamina. And it could actually help you lose weight. Now, I haven't taken a nap in six months. That's right, Meta7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I used it to help wean myself off caffeine and energy drinks, and my productivity has been very high lately. It's natural, it's amazing. I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day. I've worked 12 hour shifts. Just go, go, go all day. It makes me feel great, I love it, and um, take it. It's wonderful stuff. If you haven't tried Meta7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon. Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description. Do you love Dr. Gilmore's cyst bursting, pimple popping, and infection draining videos? Want to see the extended procedures with never before seen footage, early releases, and no ads? Then support us on Patreon for dozens of HD ad-free videos. And don't worry, you can still watch on YouTube for free. But if you want the premium content with no ads, become a patron on Patreon. There's a link in the description. Also, check out Dr. Gilmore's 7-piece kit, available on Amazon for under $20. It's got a leather case, and it's compact in size, good for traveling. See link below.